In today's video, we're going to be checking out this Gyra Flow Pump by Glamorca. Yo, how's it going guys and welcome to BCUK TV. Today, we are checking out this Gyra Flow Pump by Glamorca. Now, the design of this pump is actually a patented design to Maxpec. You'll have seen, you know, pumps like this one up here, for example, which is the Maxpec Gyra. Now that is actually a patented design to Maxpec, but Maxpec have now been licensing out the design to certain companies. Um, so this is one of those companies to get that design. And you can tell from the box, it says here, Gyra patented technology licensed by Maxpec. So if you can see that within the product, if the product says it's licensed by Maxpec, you know you're not using a dodgy copy. So this is more or less everything that you can expect from a Maxpec Gyra with a few caveats. So we'll get to that as we open up. So when we open up the box, pop it open and inside first of all on the top we've got a little instruction book booklet that you know gives you a few details on how to set up the clock how to set up feed mode etc you know a few little different bits on there and set up instructions on there on the top we've got a bit of foam protecting everything and then inside we've got the meat and potatoes we've got the flow pump for example now this pump will do 11,000 liters per hour, which is approximately, I think it's 3,000 gallons, if I'm, if I'm right, around about that amount, 3,000 gallons per hour. So it is quite a big, big pump. So if you were to compare this to the Gyra, this is in between the Gyra 230 and the Gyra 250. So it's, it's, it's an in-betweener, it's right in the middle of those two. So it's a, it's a nice, you know, easy pump to use. Now obviously it is a gyratic flow pump, so it's gonna give you that sheet of flow rather than the traditional cone of flow that you get from normal flow pumps. Normal flow pumps, you'll get like a tight flow here and then it'll spread out more and more as it goes out further. Whereas with this type of flow, it's just a straight sheet. Straight sheet that goes right across so you can get good surface agitation in your tank. It'll go right down your tank to the other side, down and back again and back up again. So you'll get that gyratic flow. Now, many, many people want that type of flow, but the Maxpec Gyra's price point might be a little bit out of reach for them. And that's where this comes in, because this is a lot cheaper. In the UK, this sells for around £169.99. So, you know, for about 170 quid, you're getting a gyratic flow pump, and you can expect everything that you would expect from a Maxpec pump in this. The caveats are, controllability so that's where this bit comes in so when you look at the controller it's very very similar to a max spec advanced controller but there's a few subtle differences first one being is this controller can only control one pump whereas with the max spec ones one controller can actually control two pumps so you can have them both linked up together you can have them working in sync out of sync all sorts of different things Whereas with this, it's one controller, one pump, and that's a lot. Also, you don't have Wi-Fi connectability. So at the moment, with these pumps that I've got in here, I've got them connected to the ICV6, which means I can control my pumps via my phone. But with this, all you do is control it through the controller. Now, for a lot of people, that's not a problem. That's not an issue at all, especially for, for the price point. It's like, well, that's not an issue. It's still brilliant. I can still have wave mode, you know, pulse mode, full constant flow, etc., etc. You've got all of the modes in there which are going to do exactly what you need. You just can't connect two pumps up together. The controller as well is a little bit of different colour. It's like this cobalt blue look, which I think is quite cool. Looks quite nice as well. So, you know, you've got that as well. And then realistically, from there out, you know, you've got some, you've got some spare bushes in there as well which the uh, propellers go into so sometimes you know you might put the blades in the wrong way or you might do something which will cause the bushes to wear down the bushes are actually plastic they're not rubber so they shouldn't wear down that quickly but you've got some spares just in case and also as well you've got some propeller 
guards. So if you've got a tank with an enemies in it, for example, you get these little guards and you just slip them over the gyro casing and it'll stop things like an enemies and stuff like that getting caught in your flow pump. So it's a nice cheap pump for people that want to get their hands on that gyratic flow but the max spec gyra is just that little bit out of reach so what we'll do we'll grab this gyra and we'll stick it right there we'll turn that gyra off and we'll turn this one on and we'll see how much water this can actually push so currently running on this tank i've got two max spec gyra 280s um, this one here and there's another one down there so to give you an idea of flow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one running on its own. So I'm gonna turn that one off down the other end so you're gonna be able to see the type of flow that this one gives and then we'll put the Glamorca on to see a comparison. So let me just switch over. Now obviously this is one of the features that you don't get with the Glamorca and that is the ability to control from your phone. So let me just switch this one off there. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll turn this one, let's turn this on up to 60%, shall we say. Let's put it on 60%, which, and let's do 50%, which might be more of a fair comparison. So let's 50% that, hit okay, we're confirmed. So that is giving us 50% flow now from the Maxpec Gyro 280. So you can see the sheet of flow that you get, it's right across the tank, every single section of the surface of this water is breaking. So you're getting good surface agitation, which means you're getting good gas exchange. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna speed the video up and I'm gonna move the 280 out of the way and I'm gonna fit the Glamorca in and then we'll see how it compares. Right, so I've got the blades angled now at the same level, so they're both gonna be pointed at the surface. But the great thing as well is if you don't want them both pointing at the surface, you might want one going that way, you might want one going that way. Or, like I've done over here, you might wanna stick it in the corner on the side, you might have one blade going that way, you might have one blade going the other way. It's really, really versatile to be able to do it. So now that it's in position, let's see what surface agitation, what movement we get from the pump. So we're at constant flow now. It's come straight on, we've got a constant flow. So this is just where it just keeps going and going and going. It's not pulsing, it's not doing else, it's just constant flow. And you can see the surface agitation there. Bearing in mind, this tank is seven foot long by two and a half feet this way, by two and a half feet this way. So it's a big tank, it's a very big tank. And you can see from the surface, you're getting really, really good surface agitation there. And if you have a look at the Gargonian over here, you can see you're getting good movement as well, even down at this low level. And we're only at 30%. That is 30% in a seven foot long system. So let's see what it looks like at 100%. Wow, look at that. Straight away you can see the Gargonian. That's moving a lot, lot more now. You know, we're getting good surface agitation down where the Monty Poras are over at the other end. I'm seeing bubbles and little tornadoes and twists coming down where it's hitting the flow from the return pump of the tank. So you're getting really, really good movement from what is a quite a cheap pump really for 170 quid. It's not a bad pump at all, that end. It's next to no noise coming from it. So you have got a few options. Like I said, you've got constant flow. You've got pulse mode. You've got the build-up mode. So basically, ramps up, ramps down. So if you set it for 40%, it'll go 10% off. Oh, sorry, say, it'll, start, it'll go 10%, 20%, back to 10%. 10%, 30%, back to 10%. 10%, 40%, back to 10%, and it'll just go up and down and up and down like that. And then this one, this mode, which is sort of like the reverse gyro mode, so basically it'll go one way, so it'll go that way for a little bit, and then it'll, the propellers will actually turn back on themselves and they'll go in reverse. And I don't think any pumps do that where they go in reverse. So you've got that one, and then you've got the random mode, so it'll just do 
whatever it wants, when it wants, and it'll just be random flow, which is quite good. And then we're back to constant flow. So this pump is pretty cool. So guys, that has been an unboxing of the Glamorca GP03. If you like the look of this pump, it is available in all good retailers in the UK and Europe. So if you want to get your hands on one, go and contact your retailer. If they don't have it in, ask them to get you one in and they will, not a problem at all. Guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you've enjoyed it, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you hit the subscribe button just there. If you wanna check out any other videos from BCUK TV, it's right there. If you're watching on Facebook, please hit that like button on our page and also like this video. Leave a comment, let us know what you thought. It's great to hear from you guys. Guys, thank you so much. See you all soon.